Hello everyone, Donna Miller here from C3 Workplace and I'm coming to you for a few minutes this morning in this video blog to talk to you about not being a financial ostrich. How many of you are avoiding doing your taxes? How many of you are dreading doing your taxes? How many of you will file extensions because of that? I know, not you, you would never do that. And you know, I did a little research because we work with a lot of people in helping them to uh, start and grow their businesses and part of that is around their finances. And I always think of it as an ostrich sticking their head in the sand around these financial issues. And, and I Googled it and would you believe there's a Wikipedia page? There is actually such a thing as the ostrich syndrome and on that Wikipedia page it is defined as the avoidance of apparently risky financial situations by pretending they don't exist. Who to thunk? Truth is, ostriches don't actually stick their head in the sand and neither should you. Here's what I know for sure. When I started my company 25 years ago, I took a course to write a business plan and a big component of that business plan was the financials. At that point we did them in Excel, but it was a really important foundation. It made me create um, a projected P&L, what's my income going to be, I had to break it down to say okay if I want to produce $100,000 a year, how does that break down, how many clients do I need. Um, it also talked about cash flow and as I'm sure if you've had a business for any length of time, you know there's a giant difference between profit and cash flow. Those are some of the things that you need to become literate about in order to be successful. Um, and, and let me ask you a question. Has ignoring anything ever made it better? I'm thinking probably not. So the truth is you need to push past your um, hesitancy, your love-hate relationship with finances. I get it. I've heard it all. I know it's not fun. But the truth is good data drives great business decisions. And you can overcome your uh, ostrich syndrome, your financial fear. Uh, we had a client who came to us many years ago, a web company, and um, she was so stressed out about her finances that almost every time we talked about it, she was literally distraught, emotional. Over time, we worked with her to create some financial literacy, create some good reporting systems, co-create them with her so she understood the process. And it's been a few years, but now, she asks great questions, she understands how those numbers fit into the rest of her business and what those numbers mean to growing her business. Um, and frankly, she's doing really, really well and she, as many of you are able, um, many of us can do, um, well, many of us can do uh, self-employed pension plans where you really can set your future up well because you own the company. So. Good data uh, creates good decisions. So the truth is, if finances freak you out, if you are a financial ostrich, there's things you can do. You can get educated, you can outsource some of that bookkeeping, which also gives you perspective, because that's another thing. When you're running the business, it's really hard to have perspective. So get educated, get some outside perspective, but the truth is knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. So work it into your day-to-day -day operations of your books. And to me, financial accountability is, is twofold. It's your personal financial accountability and nobody ever likes to hear this. And when we teach Earn More, which we'll be launching in May, one of the first things we talk about is having each participant have a personal budget. Here's a crazy concept for you. When you do a personal budget, you can do something radical like, wait for it, live within your means. You, you have to know what it costs to be you in order to know what income you need to produce and ultimately um, maybe even create some margin so you can give back, something that's important to us here at C3. So personal finance is important. There's great apps out there. Use Mint, it's free. It'll tell you how you're spending your money. You'd be surprised how much those coffees add up to over a while. Uh, and the other thing is, like I talked about, you gotta have some business financial literacy around your P&L, 
what's your most profitable service so that's that's where you put your marketing effort um, and you can outsource your bookkeeping and here at C3 um, we work with people uh, everything from wrapping around some training to them doing their books to having our clients fully outsourced to us so financial literacy you can get help, you can move past your fear, your ostrich syndrome. Um, here at C3 Workplace, we've been helping companies start and grow for a really long time. Bookkeeping is one of the things we do, but for us, bookkeeping and those numbers really are how we help our clients to drive the rest of the business forward and to know how to market, what to market, and how to be more successful. And ultimately, it's always about helping people to build businesses that run without them so they can fuel the life of their dreams. That's it. That's my rant for today. That's all I've got. Don't be a financial ostrich. Listen, visit our event page at c3workplace.com. We've got a webinar next week on QuickBooks tips and tricks. If you're using QuickBooks online, some people think it's wanky. We love it. Like anything else, it's easy when you know what you're doing. Join us for the webinar. You can register on the web page. I will be teaching my first master class in May, and that is going to be a 90-minute event where I'm going to take you through a one-page powerful business plan. And uh, we are also launching in collaboration with Paradigm Marketing, the Smart Marketing course, which is also extremely data-driven. So thanks for letting me rant for a few minutes. Financial literacy is really important to me. I hope it's important to you, and I hope you're willing to do what you need to do to get to where you need to be. Thanks so much, and have a great day.